this is Kelly, and I learned about the raw food diet in 2009, and it's magically transformed my life. Join my raw food channel and come with me on my raw, high adventures. My first one was in the kingdom of Bhutan, where I wrote about my discoveries in the tiger's temple. And I learned how the yogis, the Himalayan yogis, live off prana. Join me. Look for my book. You guessed the title. From Hollywood to God. My next adventure is... Come with me to a picnic with the Atlantic Ocean. I can't wait to get down to the beach for our picnic. This is my version of the picnic basket because inside is a built-in gel pack so I can keep this in the freezer and wherever I want to go and take some raw food, I can just load it in here. And here's our blanket. It's kind of a cozy one, you know, because it's fun to be soft and cozy on the sand. And I have nori wraps and we are going to prepare the avocado and tomato and green leaves, you know, in a little container and then that way we don't get these soggy. And we'll just take these together and however many I feel like having. All right, I'm spritzing our mixture so we can take it to the beach and put it right into the nori wrap. That's just our washed spinach and two avocados. And I've washed up some cherry tomatoes. And this is liquid aminos. And this gives it a sort of soy sauce flavor. That's more than enough, that's too much. And here are some washed cherry tomatoes. I'm going to put those on top. And then when I get down to the beach, we just open this up and scoop it into our nori wrap. Okay, the fastest way to melt cacao chocolate and stay on the raw food diet, which means never heating food up past 115 to 118 Fahrenheit, is to put it in a little dish, boil some water and pour the water into the dish and just leave it for like 10 minutes and it melts very quickly. And I have my uh, strawberries washed and ready to go and I'm going to put this, put them in this little container and pack them up. I have boiling water, more boiling water from the electric kettle to fill the rest of the pan up to make it melt just a hair faster. It's all the way to the top. And we have the cacao chocolate bar, nearly melted. Let's see if I can show that to you. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, we can actually start. So all we're doing is taking the strawberries, they're even still a bit damp. You could wait for them to dry, but we're not going to, because we're going to get out there. I already see some kite surfers. And all I'm doing is just dipping the strawberry into the chocolate. But this chocolate is a superfood. You can actually make your own cacao with, by buying the cacao powder. You can blend it up with some avocado. I have a Jason Mraz chocolate mousse recipe that you can look up. Actually, I'll post it below this one. But this is my go-to fast one. And they just look gorgeous. Mm, just beautiful. Keep the greens on. It looks more attractive like that. And that's pretty much what I'm going to have today at the beach. There you go. That's our little treat for the beach. Okay, then we're folding up the blanket and going to put it into the bag. And then we're going to head down to the ocean. Go, got it, I think. Oh, no, that's good enough. All right, what do you think? Not bad for a raw picnic, right? It looks pretty tasty. Oh, that's fabulous. It's absolutely amazing down here. It's waiting for us. <laughs> Look at those kids. They're like a busload of them. One of the most amazing things I've discovered on this raw food diet is that I'm two different people. <laughs> 
I'm this amazing, mind-blowing, happy, like out of this world person on the raw food diet who loves everything and everyone and has endless energies, feels infinite, has incredible attractor field. And then as soon as I have some cooked food, I don't know what changes, it's so dramatic. The high just falls to sort of mediocre average existence, the kind I used to remember. Woo! I was kite surfing. Ah, it looks beautiful out there. All right, let's set up for our picnic.
meal feels normal to me. This is why it's one of my favorites. It feels like a sushi roll without the fish and the rice. I have kite surfers uh, putting away their kites for the night. And we're going to try the jalapeno nut cheese with our black seed crackers. Look at it. I've never had this before. Can't wait. Oh my gosh, the birds are going to come join me. This will be really cool. Alright. You can see the tide getting closer to me. We'll see if I get uh, washed out or not. nacho cheese, but it's not real cheese. They've made this with jalapenos and sea salt and nuts that taste exactly like nachos. Amazing. Do you want a strawberry with chocolate? Cacao? No, you're okay. You're busy. Getting comfortable, getting likable. I hope you enjoy.